How's it going guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new HLG HDR mode on the GoPro Hero 13 Black. I've already done a full video explaining how this mode works and all the ins and outs of it. Uh, so if you're interested in that, make sure you go check out that video. But for this video, I'm pretty much just going to skip over the explanation and get right into the visual examples. I'm going to be comparing standard, regular HDR, and HLG HDR. So I'm going to be going to various different lighting situations, both indoor and outdoor, and we're going to get a clip in standard, the same clip in HDR, and then the exact same clip in HLG HDR, so you can see exactly how they differ. For this first batch of clips, they're going to be completely unedited, no color grading or anything like that, and then the next batch of clips will do some color grading and see how HLG responds to that. Real quick, I do want to show you how to enable HLG HDR. Um, so if you've got your GoPro pulled up, you go to your settings, and then you scroll up to the top, you have your profiles up here. Uh, by default, it's going to be on just regular HDR. If you have HDR selected and you scroll down to the ProTune settings, you'll see HLG HDR right here, and you can turn that on, just like that. And now if we go back up to the top, you'll see that it says HLG HDR up here. So let's begin. So to me, watching back that footage, it seems like the HLG HDR does a great job of decreasing the noise in the low light areas and bringing out some of the detail there. Um, however, it does blow out the high light areas a little bit and also decreases the saturation on, on all the colors. But this is without color grading. And comparing the three different video types without color grading, I actually think that, stand, that regular HDR looks the best. However, like I said, this is no color grading. So let's do a little bit of color grading on some of these HLG HDR clips that you just saw and see if they look any better. Keep in mind, I'm not great at color grading, but I'm going to do my best. So we'll see.
I found that color grading this footage was quite interesting because you're able to do a lot more without ruining the footage. So like whenever you're color grading standard footage, if you increase the vibrance or the exposure or pretty much anything just a little bit, it starts to make your footage look really, really bad. However, with the HLG HDR footage, I could crank stuff up w way up or way down, whether it be the vibrance, the exposure, shadows, highlights, anything, and it didn't affect the footage that much. It took a lot of drastic edits to really make the footage look visually different. Is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? I don't know, but it does seem like it would give you more control over your edits. And keep in mind, like I mentioned earlier, depending on what screen you're watching on, the colors are going to look different and the footage is going to look different. So I recommend watching this video on multiple different types of screens. Luckily, YouTube does support HLG HDR, so as long as you're watching this video on YouTube, you're going to get the HDR footage to its full effect if you're on an HDR screen. So watch it on some older devices, watch it on some newer devices, see how the colors differ, and you can use that to decide whether or not you want to use HLG HDR going forward with your own GoPro. Thank you very much for watching, I hope this was helpful, and if it was, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for a lot more GoPro content headed your way. Thank you very much.